Hi guys, I just did a video on the LG Optimus G um, specs and I said I was going to do a video when I found the benchmarks. Well, I found the benchmarks and you will not be disappointed. Let's have a look through them. Uh, okay, so the benchmark Pi, which is, I think it's a, well, it's just a CPU benchmark. Um, and lower is better. Um, and look who's on the top, the LG Optimus G running its S4 Pro processor. Yeah, it's the the S4 Pro is new architecture. Um, let me just have a quick look. S4 Pro. Oh, spell that wrong. Yeah, like I said, it's Crate, which is very similar. It's not quite the A15 core like architecture, but it's very similar, and this is much better. It's smaller. It's more power efficient and it enables you to higher the clock speed um, because it's smaller and creates less heat, so also less power consumption. Anyway, we can see here on this first benchmark it's beating everything including the Galaxy S3 here. I don't know if this is the International Galaxy S3 or the American one, uh, but either way it's beating the Tegra 3 for sure with a nice score here. Linpack absolutely smashes everything silly um, wow you know uh, I mean this is this is just stock stuff and that's got 608 the nearest competitor is the M4X core with 189 this thing is ridiculous uh, I can't wait for this to be in more phones let's go to quadrant again a stock score of 7,439 smashes the Tegra 3 to bits, smashes the Galaxy S3 to bits. This was expected. I told you this processor was an absolute monster and it is living up to that expectation. Um, let's go to some more benchmarks. So these are some graphics benchmarks and it's running yeah, it's, uh, the S4 is running the new Adreno 320 GPU, which uh, I've been excited to see, actually. This this is nice GPU. Um, right, well, I mean, again, I don't know what Galaxy S3 this is. Um, if it's the normal S4, then the Exynos chip that's in Europe is a lot better. Um, it doesn't say what these are compared to. But this is getting a very good score, 113. Again, the graphics on this S4 Pro and the Adreno 320 is epic. Um, it's smashing everything. Neenmark, well look at this, it's hitting the frame cap at 60 frames per second. Um, you know, it can probably get higher than that, it's just hitting the frame limiter. So yeah this thing is smashing everything that it's been thrown at so yeah it says here so the fact that the LG Optimus G got a perfect score suggests that it has more in reserve than its rivals it was able to maintain the maximum frame rate throughout the most intensive part of the test that's true if you've ever done the Nina Mark test when it starts spinning around that tree you'll notice most phones will drop to about 40 frames maybe 40 to 45 frames According to this, it did not drop. It stayed at 60. I can't wait to have a go with this phone. Now, the only slightly disappointment uh, is the Sun Spider. I mean, it doesn't get a bad score, but it's not top. Um, you know, the S3 and the MX4 core beats it. Saying that, the Sun Spider is just the browser, and, you know, the Galaxy S3 has Samsung do great optimization on the browser. Um, it's all about optimization when it comes to Sun Spider. LG might not be the best at it, I don't know. When this thing gets Jelly Bean, I bet it jumps to the top of this list. That's my. Because Sun Spider, um, the Jelly Bean browser made a big difference to the Sun Spider results. Anyway, they're the benchmarks that have been posted for this thing. Check out videos. People have got hands on with this op op Optimus G. It looks fantastic. Um, I'm not sold on the whole design, but. I really want to see this S4 Pro and other things. I hope you enjoyed my video. As always, if you like it, please subscribe. I hope to see you all later.